Okay, hello and welcome to something of a surprise for you. Okay, today I'll be talking about your favorite, um, I guess it's favorite, uh, particles. So uh, don't get all hoped up because I'm not going to talk about any advanced techniques. Just, you know, particle emitting. Okay, so go into physics tab from the start. F7 twice as usual. Okay, uh, on particles here, you press new and here you have some uh, knobs and stuff. Okay, amount. Let's say 5000 start frame 2 and frame 101. That should be nice. Uh, life 30 and display a uh, percentage 100% uh, for me uh, from random although I may have to subdivide the mesh twice okay um, not necessarily that but you may want to do it okay say you want to uh, modify your mesh let's do it uh, okay nah there you have it okay so subdividing is good now uh, now in go into particle motion. Here you have uh, some forces. Okay, here's the uh, gravitation gravitational pull, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm not. Uh, set to minus point two zero. Okay. Uh, now let's see how it works. I believe it won't work. Ah, look at this. It worked. Okay, but you won't you won't do that now. Okay, you don't want that. So we go into normal and uh, say 0.03. Let's see how it all works. Mm. Well, if you look upside down, you may think it's something like you know a meteor meteorite coming into the atmosphere and burning, but we don't want that now, don't we? So we go into uh, keys and say we put 25. Now the falling speed is uh, a bit, well not a bit, it's almost double. So um, that's pretty good. Now increase the amount of particles, say 10,000. Uh, be careful though, so it only uses CPU not uh, GPU. So this may freeze up your computer for a while. So don't get impatient, okay? Go into wireframe. Here's your mesh. It's good enough. Okay, so we go into uh, display sub tab and press vect, which is vectorial. Now you have something like sparks or water, if you'd like. Double the amount, 20,000. And there you have your own. Um, energy cascade if you'd like. So go into uh, materials tab F5 and press Halo. This has nothing, nothing, nothing to do with the game Halo. Although it's a very great, great, great game. Okay, so uh, get your blue or whatever color you want. Uh, go into shaders Halo size point one two. Uh, rings, okay, select ring color, blue-ish, and let's render. Oops, nothing here. There you have it, uh, but it looks kind of fake. So let's add bloom, my favorite. Scene. Oh, and this kind of renders real time for everybody. So it's no big pro big of a problem. Add glow. You know I like to call it bloom. Okay, so there you have it. And a bit of a motion blur. You can afford that now, can you? There you have it. Motion blur. So, uh, particles with motion blur and everything. Uh, you can use your own uh, vortices. Attention, vortices, not vertices. 
Vault is uh, the plural for uh, vortex. Okay. So add an empty. Uh, place it a bit up, and go into physics tab. Okay. Fields. Select vortex. Now add strength. Say 20. And you'll notice how your um, little particle experiment experiment goes weird. So select uh, strength again and press 100. There you have it, your own particle dome. Looks kind of weird, yeah. Spooky, eh? Yeah. Next frame, next frame. There you have it, your own particle storm. So next time you stand near one of these, better run away. Okay, so see ya next time.